right, disc golf fans. I'm Henrik Nordberg and I'm standing here at Brickeberg Disc Golf Course in Örebro, Sweden. And with me I have disc golf legend and superstar Philo Brathwaite. How's it going, brother? It's going good. How are things going with you? All right, a little jet lag, but I'm still moving. We're still awake, so... Yeah, you made it here to Sweden like a couple of days ago? Yesterday. Yesterday, okay. And uh, what's the plan now? Well, we've got a couple more days of clinics lined up. We're here in Brickeberg today. We got one more. Thinking, uh, what's it, Goldenberg? Uh, Karlstad and Philipsdorf. There we go. So we're going that direction. <laughs> that way. <laughs> so, yeah, we got another clinic today, and then I think we have a couple of days to get ready for the tournament and playing, you know, this weekend, Heatland Open. Yeah. So it should be fun. Yeah. Uh, you're coming straight from, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Des Moines. Des Moines, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now we're heading into Sweden to a pretty wooded course. How yeah. do you think about those wooded courses? I like wooded courses. The course we just played in Des Moines was a mixture of the two. They had some open shots, some open to wooded, some wooded to, to open, you know, back into the woods. So open into the woods every once in a while, they mixed it up. So I'm not really intimidated by throwing in the woods. I know how to throw the disc straight and I have pretty good speed control. So I usually don't get into too much trouble. As long as I hit the lines, I should be okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, and you're heading back to the States, like yep. right after the competition here in Sweden. What's the remainder of the season going to look like for you? Wow, yeah, so I go back uh, early next week and I go directly to Milwaukee to do commentary for the next Disc Golf Pro Tour event in uh, Michigan. And then after that, I have Masters Worlds coming up, the first time I'm going to compete in Masters Worlds. So I've been Masters player for two years, but I haven't played a Masters tournament yet. I've stayed in the Open division, but uh, I missed Pro Worlds this year. I did live commentary. Yeah. So I decided I'm going to try Masters Worlds and see if I can get a major win finally once in my career, you know, yeah. see if I can do it. And then I have a handful more of Pro Tour events to play, mm -hmm. a couple more jobs commentary, and then that's pretty much the end of the season for me, October. I have a couple of side projects going on, maybe get to develop some new courses in Virginia. Cool. So I'm excited about that and, uh, you know, more teaching, more clinics, you know, more driving around circles in America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've seen you, well, actually heard you a lot from the commentary booth yeah. this season. And um, are you go are you gonna like gravitate more towards that kind of job, or? That's a really hard choice. The opportunity was presented to me last October for USDGC, and uh, I was really reluctant to do commentary because it almost felt like they were saying, "Oh, your your value has transitioned from on the golf course to off the golf course," and I don't think I was ready to accept that yet. Like, I still have good disc golf in me, yeah, yeah. and I know I can still play strong. I just need to stay in rhythm. And when you do commentary and go back and forth play, it's hard to stay in rhythm for competitive play. Like, the skills are there, but if you're not sharp, then yeah. you go to play against the best players in the world, and you're going to struggle. Yeah. So it's been kind of a challenge, but I'm learning to adapt. I'm learning to make my schedule more time for practice. Where I, Before, I didn't practice so much because it was week after week competition. Yeah. So it wasn't really skills training. It was prepare for tournament. Yeah. So yeah. show up, practice the tournament, play the tournament, leave in the same routine week after week. Yeah. And now I'm like out of that rhythm, so I have to remember to go practice yeah. and just keep stay fresh, keep putting, you know, keep, keep the game loose. Yeah. So even if I'm not competing that week, I'm still getting reps in. So I think it's going to transition slowly into maybe more commentary as the seasons go on. I'm getting older. I'm not going to compete with Paul McBeth and Eagle McMahon. They're, you know, half a decade or more younger than I am. And, you know, my body is not getting slower, but I'm not throwing it as far as I would like to to play on that level as high as I would like to play. So yeah. it's time to start thinking of the transition. You know, I've been at this for 15 years it's taken me all over the world. Yeah. I've play, you know, played every every event that I possibly could in 15 years, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. I love the travel. I love getting to come to Sweden, to Norway, to to Finland, to Iceland, all the Scandic countries, and spending the summer here. It's been the greatest pleasure, I think, on the journey for the last 10 years is yeah. getting yeah. to come here yeah. And, yeah. and to experience all the different cultures of disc golf. Yeah. You yeah. know, and to be exposed to so many different groups and communities you know it's so much fun man yeah yeah, yeah. it's awesome yeah yeah but we love seeing you both out on the course and we also lo love to hear you in yeah the it's a tough booth, one so. for me yeah. too man it's a tough it's a coin flip you know it's, i want to compete i love to compete that's where my passion started yeah but there's other things now and if my value can go into the booth and my knowledge and my experience on tour can help make the story more relatable to the general disc golf yeah. community, then I'm all about it. I'm, I'm down to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's nice. That's Thanks, nice. man. 
So best of luck. Thanks, with, man. With, whether it's the on tour or in the commentary booth. Thank you, man. And good luck and on Heatland Open. Thank of you. Course. I'm gonna have fun and just do my best. If I get beat, I get beat. I'm gonna have fun and try to smile and put on a show. Sounds good. Thanks, Sounds good. buddy. All right. Over See and you guys out. out there. <laughs>